Christmas in October and we got three houses here in the city of Grandview that we're trying to do some work to help out some uh, of our neighbors here. We're a member of the community here and it's something that we can do to offer is our time back uh, to help out some um, you know, people in need. I'm amazed at the level of skill that many of on this team have. They've done this many years in the past. They come prepared. Uh, they're bringing their own sets of tools and expertise. They are the heroes. They're, they're the ones that are going to be sore tomorrow. Everybody's friendly. I'm talking about everybody has a great attitude, smiling, helpful, informative. There's many hands that can be needed. There's planning, organizing. If you can drive a car and go buy supplies to run on a paintbrush up and down, uh, or you can get down and dirty and apply some of those skills you may use outside of work. You can tell they love what they're doing or their hearts in it because it shows in their body language and their attitude and their presentation. I think it's awesome, it, especially during a pandemic. Uh, we weren't able to do this last year and to be able to go out and get a group of volunteers together, words can't really describe it. it it's a great thing to see and I, it's, I'm proud to you know, have employees that are willing to, to donate their time back. <laughs> This gives people like me hope. When I wake up in the morning, there's something good being done and I can offer to the good and that the world is not a dim. There's a person who is in immediate need. They feel like someone will come to their rescue. It means that the world can go on and be a better place. That's what hope means for me. And next year, you know, we're gonna start early and really look for volunteers and see how many houses we can really impact and how many lives we can really touch.